we need to do is write this get all persons so first we will do then is mutable array this will call the return array equal to ns mutable array allocate init say auto release so that's there now we write the query query equal to the rate select say star from persons that's the name I gave I don't remember if it was persons or person yeah, we can just open this with text editor and we can check what it is so I can just open with text edit so I guess you can't see much from this table but I guess it's persons uh, or person I don't know that's call it person I guess it's person uh, we'll see that later anyway so we get all these details here in this query now I need to run this query so so first I will create a SQLite 3 underscore statement hmm. statement star statement uh, so create that now as if SQLite 3 prepare and sometimes this can be a little step uh, now we we'll prepare underscore v2 now it needs a database database z sql we just give it minus one uh, z sql is actually the uh, query that we created query utf again it's not fate format so we'll call it utf8 and then bytes is minus one sql like statement where it will get the details is we'll say statement and need something like which is nil uh, so once we have that I will say this is equal to SQLite it's fits okay with SQLite then do this so this means that our query went through if this function goes it means that our query is good now we can loop through the query so I say while hmm, SQLite 3 uh, step through that statement so that is statement equal to sqlite ok again oh sorry is a sqlite row let to check that the statement is a valid sqlite row if it is then i can just get my variables from it nick id equal to sqlite 3 column uh, we need to get the column column integer sql it's of the type integer so that's why i said sql then i need where it is statement comma which is the row zero row so once i have that next i need now uh, the text is in the form of characters so we have to get it in characters so let's call it name characters equal to just character star SQLite 3 column text this time and it's from the statement and it's the first one so that's there copy this paste it name and the next one was address it's a pretty tedious process but it's very easy once you know how to do it you can just copy paste this code again and again and use it multiple places now we need to that variable sent to string so say convert first name equal to this 
string allocate init with utf8 string because those are characters so we need to convert it into that so name characters and in this string star address equal to the same one but address character mm. so once we have this uh, both of them now we need to call of instance of that uh, in of that info file person info file I think I have imported that file let me go ahead and import person info so now I can just call that person info star info let's make object of that and I'll say person info allocate in it with this is the function that we wrote that time this is where we are going to populate that unique id name is name address is address so we have that function and then we'll say return array add object then add this object inside that return array what else did we allocate name release and then so just releasing whatever we allocated we don't want memory problems so once we do this this is good let's see if there's anything else also the info file we have added that to the to the array so we don't need that info anymore and then after that once I'm done with all this I have to you know, finalize the SQLite statement this is required finalize and say finalize the statement and then return this is array so just say return expression what is my it's the return array since it return type is necessary we have to give back the array which we created so this will have all the elements from the person table now if I want to let's see if it works just to see if did everything fine so if I run this project right now it will give me some warning because I didn't add the SQLite uh, framework to it so I can just go to my project go to build faces and link by and it's called it SQLite Three dot dynamic library. I think that's what we need. Let's run it again and see. Yeah, it works. Opens iPhone. It kind of does everything, but right now we are not yet did anything in that view controller file, and it's not connected to anything. So, view controller file. I go ahead. So currently, it will just show the view, add the window, and show the view controller on top of it. So that's what happens. Nothing happens in the application. So I will go ahead and say person info. Just import the two files. Person database. So I have two of them. When the view loads, you can just go ahead here. And after the view is loaded, I want to display those. So we'll just log log them as uh, log messages. NS array. So get the arrays first. Say person info equal to let's get the array of person info person so we need to instance of database create the database and then we need to call that function which was select what was it let's go ahead and see it in the database get all persons so call it get all persons so this will have that detail now we can loop through the entire uh, person info object inside an array and display them in person info so this will loop through them and now I need to show an s log so per first one was ID so that is percentage D name is percentage at the rate and then this is percentage at the rate these are objects so info dot 
unique id hmm. info dot name and info dot address so this should display it unless we did some mess up some table name or something so let's see if it runs i run the application it opens up and in the log at the bottom should give the info let's see yeah, we're in vivian arana to john smith and three jane doe so it does work and that's how you access S uh, sqlite i mean use sql you can do a bunch of different things you can insert all you need to do is put different queries here i just selected from all you can uh, if you don't know sql I, I would say you better learn that if you want to use sqlite and you can write a bunch of different functions i got get all person you can say get a particular person with id all those different functions which whatever you need uh, so this is how it how sqlite works and um, thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions please post them in the comments i will be doing core data next and uh, a little bit in future i'll be showing you how to access xml and json thank you uh, and see you later